Good morning, my first hour ninth grade history scholars. How are you all doing this morning? Good. Awesome. How is your morning going so far? Good. 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 I hear a lot of good. Well, this morning I kind of had a little bit of a mishap, so my morning is kind of uh, a little bit on the downside. But that kind of goes into our lesson, so I kind of want you to talk a little bit about conflict. So think of a time in your groups for about one minute, about a time when you or somebody else had a disagreement and you just could not find a solution to that problem. So if you guys can just talk for about one minute and then we'll share a couple of your guys' stories. She's the one that like, kind of looks like she's like older, but like she has like long hair. Yeah, she like looks like she dresses like she's like not as old. I get really mad when people say that recycling is pointless and that actually the garbage men just stick all the stuff in the same garbage truck and that they just want us to think that recycling ma actually happens, but it really doesn't. I get really mad when people say that because I don't believe that's true, but maybe it is, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, just mainly like recycling when people don't recycle. Those are all really good examples. Now, my example kind of relates to your guys' too. Um, I have roommate issues as well. But this doesn't really pertain to me, so to say. So I woke up this morning, went to go make my coffee, as I do every morning because I love coffee. And both of my roommates come up bursting out of their rooms, and they just look furious. And I had no idea what was going on. So I just kind of ignored the situation, went into my room to get ready to see all of you guys' lovely faces. and. Um, as I'm getting ready, I hear yelling in the living room, and I go out there immediately and ask, what is going on? And to keep the story short, one roommate is mad because the other roommate has a bunch of friends over all the time, and they're really loud, and she, the other roommate just feels like she doesn't have her space anymore in the apartment. So this kind of goes along with our new unit on the Palestine-Israel conflict, and how um, I kind of am in the middle. So I'm going to have you guys take a look at the quotes that I put on your tables and kind of see, you either have a Palestinian um, perspective or you have an Israeli perspective, and I think there's one that kind of can go with both. So I just want you guys to discuss kind of how the person or whoever said this was feeling at the time and why they felt about this. I know you guys may not have any background information on this, but if you do, that's fantastic. But just talk in your groups for about two to three minutes I'll walk around and see if I can help you guys figure out. I read a 
super interesting to look at bloggers. Yeah. Like, there's some people like, will blog about something like whatever, actually, like people that live in Israel, and then like other people will be like, you're going to hell, Zionism, and then like another person will blog. Palestinians are getting pushed out of their like territories, which are within Israel, which is the Gaza Strip, and uh, another territory. I don't know why it's getting pushed out there because like you know, those people keep settling in their territories. It's like after the last war, they decide that they weren't going to do that. It's like the territories. So. They have to like move to these refugee camps in neighboring countries. And the refugee camps are like just basically like people don't have electricity. It's like third world poverty place. And so yeah, they're freaking pissed about that. Who wouldn't be mad about that? Like you get pushed out of your you know homeland and that's kinda like they believe they belong there because they were actually there before. Jewish people that were there. Okay. So, All right, so looking at these quotes, I could tell that maybe some of you didn't really know what maybe the whole issue was, and that's okay because we're just taking a little explore activity to kind of get into our unit. So as, who had number one? All right, so here is, right, do you want to read it for anybody? As we were called, the Palestinians were sitting in their country peacefully until immigrant Jews from Europe started flying into Palestine and plotted to take over the land and kick out its inhabitants. Uh, and what were your thoughts on this? You thought it was putting the uh, Jewish people in a negative view, saying that they were plotting it and purposely taking over and that the Palestinians were innocent in the whole situation. Very good. So could you kind of see their perspective and then making inferences, could you possibly see how the other party would have felt about the situation or the conflict that we're talking about? Um, it very heavily makes it sound like the Palestinians are in the good guy side. <coughs> good thoughts, good thoughts. All right, and who are number two? They both have their own perspective. They're both fighting. They both. The background here is they both want control over the land that used to be called Palestine. <coughs> now there is a state, and it's Israel. And what I want you guys to do is flip over um, the sheet that I have. It has the opinion proof reading strategy on there. And what I want you to do with the quotes, I'll put them all up here for you guys to see. Um, I want you guys to just kind of look at the quotes and make an opinion. So here's a, my um, model right here. So I looked at question number three and four, and I said, the Israelis and Palestinians should adopt a one-state solution. So instead of creating a Palestine state, which we'll talk about later in the week during our lesson, um, they should come together as one group of people under one rule, um, and create one state. And then what I would like you guys to do as we continue with this lesson throughout the week, collecting information as we learn more about the Palestine-Israel conflict, I want you
you guys to put proof statements to prove the opinion that you may have. And you may not have the same opinion as I do, so you might want to say the Palestinians should have their own Palestinian state independent of Israel. And then you would take, you can use the books that we used in class, or you can do, just take the information that I'll be giving you throughout the week and put that in your proof column. And then as our final project, just so I can know that you guys are understanding everything, you can create one paragraph summary using all of that information to synthesize and understand what is going on and defend your opinion using the proof.